Hey guys, All Electrical here. Um, just creating this video just to show you guys how to uh, check your power point for dead, which means um, it's de-energized and safe to change. Um, the things you're going to need is a multimeter. Uh, I don't recommend a volt stick, the ones that you sort of touch the power point and it lights up. Um, sometimes it could just light up for the fun of it and give you a false um, a false indication that it is de-energized when it actually isn't. Um, so before using this meter, um, you're probably better off going around and testing on a few different power points just to make sure the meter is working correctly. Um, so in regards to testing the power points, I'll show you that now. Um, so you just put one prong in the active pin. Um, put wrong one pin in the neutral pin. Uh, just turn it on. Go to your meter. You get all these settings here. Um, you're looking for this one here, voltage AC, like a wave. So you just clip it to that. The other one is for DC, that's for batteries and things like that, so you don't want to use that. Um, so you should read around the 230 volt mark. Um, once you've got that reading, another quick check is you take it out of the neutral pin, you put it in the earth pin, which is just below it. You should read the same. Once again, I'll check this on a few power points around the house, make sure it's working correctly. Um, so yeah, after you've got this voltage here, um, you need to make this voltage read zero. So what you need to do is you need to go to your switchboard, um, isolate some of the circuit breakers until you find the one that isolates this circuit for this power point. Um, you can flick, flick them all off or flick them off one by one until you find it. And once that reads zero, um, it'll be dead. So you're pretty much safe to change it. So it should read something like that. But with the prongs in, of course. Um, so yeah, that's how you test for dead. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys.